Carra, a new long-term deal at this football club. Just how delighted are you? Yeah, buzzing. I think obviously uh, I've came in this season, went on loan last season, but I've come in this pre-season with the aim of, you know, wanting to get something like this, an achievement like this, to get it over the line. And hope, you know, I've done it quicker than what I thought I probably would have done, or maybe other people would have thought. But I'm just happy to get it done. And obviously, playing for this club, coming through the academy and stuff, it's a proud moment. When did you learn about the good news that you're going to get offered a new contract extension? Um, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Um, obviously played a few games and you know the club which wanted to sit down and obviously I was out of contact at the end of the season so they just wanted to tie me down to a little bit of an, um, a longer term one which is obviously good for me. Obviously it means that I've been doing well and you know gives me a couple of years now and, and to get a lot more um, exposure to first team football and just keep playing as much as I can. You joined the Wii Athletic as a schoolboy from Liverpool, uh, progressing through all the way from the under 18s to the first team. Was this something you always dreamt about, to be in the first team, a regular and, and really starry? Yeah, I think obviously I'd, I'd like to like to, to be in a bit quicker, but you know, circumstances were in my way and I had tough times. But you know, I'm still a still a young lad, barely. But I think obviously when you when you come through the academy and you know you get your schoolboy forms and then scholar forms and. Even when you sign your first professional deal, I think you know there's always the aim of trying to sign another one as quickly as possible. So, you know, hopefully I've you know tied down to a few more years now, which is good for me and probably good for the football club. No football journey is ever linear. There's always challenges and adversity along the way. Do you think that the setbacks and injuries you had during your your progression development over the last few years has helped you really grow and develop as a person as well as a footballer? Yeah, I think obviously any person I'll tell you that when you've been out for a long time, obviously. You know, the captain at the minute, Jace, was, he was going through something similar as well last year and I think obviously makes you stronger as a person uh, mentally but, you know, at the end of the day everyone has injuries and, you know, I'm not going to be the first to have a long-term injury and I'm not going to be the last so, you know, just how you deal with it but I think I've come back this season and showed everyone um, how I've dealt with it. From day one of pre-season, you came in, in in really strong physical condition and was that the, the mindset throughout the summer to, to give yourself the best possible chance of making a name in the first team? Yeah, just I think I'd had a couple of seasons where I'd never had a proper pre-season and this was the first time I felt confident in myself physically where I could come back and show everyone um, what I could do really and I think obviously having the full pre-season didn't miss many sessions which I think obviously helps you as a person set you up for the season. So um, that was one of my big aims not to miss many sessions and I don't think I did so you know, it gave me a great great platform really to um, show what I could do and hopefully the, you know, the managers give me you know, a chance in the first team and hopefully I've repaid them with a few good performances but you know, I've got to keep going again and show them that I can keep playing most games. The manager has always been very complimentary of you, of your work ethic, your attitude and your performances. How have you found working with him? Very good, I think obviously trainings, obviously you learn new things every day. You know, I think the, the way the top teams play now in this country, your Man City's, your Arsenal's, your Liverpool's, you know, we're, we're learning that now and I think it can only help us for our future, especially me being a young lad. The work we get on the training ground a bit before the games, obviously, you know, the information that we get is setting us up to hopefully play at a higher level and we all want to do that with this football club, maybe it's this year or next year, but, you know, that's the aim to, can we get promotion as quick as we can and, you know, the things that we learn on the training ground and get taught and do is obviously setting us up for that. It's all invaluable education and obviously coming through the, the club's academy as well, you, you must have so much thanks to pay to those who've helped you, all the coaches, the staff, medical team, for getting to you at this point. Yeah, of course, and you know every contract you sign or whatever, I signed one a couple of years ago while I was injured, and that's a, you know, that shows that the club had great faith in me. And now that I've had a few good games, then you know they've they've decided to offer me a new one, which I'm thankful for. But you know everyone's helped you along the way. Every young lad who comes through, you know, you need a manager who's going to trust you and put you in. That's the only way you're going to get experience. And I'm thankful for this manager, but. You know, I just need to show them that um, I can do it most games in every game. It's been your breakthrough season at the Brit Community Stadium. It's been your first real experience playing in front of the Lactic supporters. You've really impressed yourself and obviously won the Player of the Month uh, in, in recent times. So how good have the fans been with you? Brilliant. I think obviously, you know, um, most fans are up and down the country. When a young lad comes through, they're obviously um, a lot more forgiving with them after, you know, you're not going to play well every single game. but you know, even when I got player of the month and I've been playing a few good games, you know, the fans have been brilliant and um, hopefully it continues. In, in recent weeks, you've grown from strength to strength with your performances. Is, is that now the aim as well to continue developing and, and keep on progressing? That's it, yeah. Obviously, you know, 
you know, I'm not one of them people who just sits down and says, you know, I had a few good games. I need to show people that I can do it every game. And, you know, there's still parts of my game where I think I can improve and get better and help the team. So, you know, you can't really stand still, even though you've signed the contract. You know, you can't just relax now, can't sit back, but you've got to keep going and keep showing people that you can keep playing.